Building efficiently can make you more tanky with less gold spent. This video will help you balance tanky stats optimally using some simple math. Armor is a percentage reduction of incoming damage. We can measure the total amount of incoming physical damage before it is reduced by armor that it takes to kill a champion. It is called effective health. A champion with zero armor does not reduce incoming damage, so their effective health is equal to their health. In this example, if they have 1000 health, they get a total of 1000 effective health. A champion with 100 armor reduces incoming damage by 50%, doubling their effective health. In this example, if they have 1000 health, they get a total of 2000 effective health. Now that you understand how effective health works, let's talk about some gold efficiency. Since a single cloth armor gives 15 armor and costs 300 gold, we can say that each armor point costs 20 gold. Since a ruby crystal gives 150 HP and costs 400 gold, we can say that each HP point costs approximately 2.67 gold. In this example, the champion got twice as tanky by building 100 armor, but they can also get twice as tanky by building another 1000 HP. 100 armor costs 2000 gold and 1000 HP costs 2667 gold, so it's 30% more expensive to build HP than it is to build armor to get to the same result. We can do it with magic resist too. Since a null magic mantle costs 450 gold and gives 25 magic resist, each magic resist point costs 18 gold, so 100 magic resist costs 1800 gold. For any set amount of armor, there is one exact perfect HP value that is optimal for it. This ideal balance is called the equilibrium. The horizontal axis is for the armor values, and the vertical axis is for the health values. This line represents the optimal values. For any specific armor and health values, you get a point on this graph. If your point is above this line, building armor is more efficient than building health to protect you from physical damage. If your point is below this line, it's the opposite, building health is more efficient than building armor. For example, a level 10 Kaisa has 1429 HP and 60 armor. In this situation, according to this graph, armor is more efficient than health against physical damage. There is a similar equilibrium for magic resist, with a slightly different line. Let's take the same example again, a level 10 Kaisa has 1429 HP and 40 magic resist. In this situation, according to this graph, magic resist is more efficient than health against magic damage. Keep in mind that there are also other factors to take into account when choosing between health and armor or magic resist. If the enemy deals true damage, they ignore armor and magic resist, so you should put more priority on HP. Same thing if the enemy deals both physical and magic damage, since HP makes you more tanky against both types of damage. Armor shred like black cleaver and percent armor pen like Cyrilda's reduce the value of armor, and percent magic pen like void staff reduces the value of magic resist. Therefore you should put more priority on health against it. The exact opposite applies to lethality and flat magic pen, as building armor against lethality and magic resist against flat magic pen are the best ways of countering them. If you play a champion with a lot of sustain, increasing armor or magic resist makes healing more effective because it takes more effort to remove your health than it does to restore it. Same goes for champions with shields. However, you should still prioritize specific items that are good on the champion you're playing, and not tunnel vision on the perfect defensive stats balance.